Welcome to Sewing Anastasia. Today we're going to be sewing some bias binding on the neckline of a dress. Okay, so I have already cut my bias binding to length and I've actually already ironed it as well. But if you don't know how to do this, what you want to do is make sure you cut a strip of fabric that is about an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half wide and you want to make sure that you cut it on the bias, hence bias binding. See, okay, I've already ironed my bias binding. So when it's open, it's nice and flat. So I like to take and iron into the middle. And then we're halfway there. And then once it's ironed over, and then we have our strip of bias binding. So now that you have created your bias binding, we are ready to start sewing it onto our dress. Okay, so we want to make sure that our zipper is flat and not open. And now that we have our bias binding, what we're going to do is actually start sewing on the wrong side of the fabric. So here my lining, and we're going to lay the very edge of the bias binding to the edge of our dress. And now what we're going to do is we're going to sew in our first fold line. So now that we have sewn our bias binding in that quarter of an inch, stitch in the ditch per se, you can see that the inside is really nice looking, but now we have a raw side on the outside and one more flap to sew. So what we're going to want to do is on the outside of our dress, fold that remaining fold. So you're going to fold that remaining fold and now you can see we just need to edge stitch on the edge of the bias binding and we will have a beautiful finished edge. So the reason I also started in the inside, we're actually sewing on the outside of the dress, is so that you can see your stitch on the outside of the dress to see how clean it looks. So now that you have done all your bias binding, it should look beautiful like this on the inside and the outside. So now you have a nice clean finish and you can start bias binding everything. Thanks for watching Sew Anastasia today. I hope you found our tutorial helpful on how to sew bias binding. If you have any questions, make sure you leave it in the comments. I'll get back to you right away. And make sure you like our video, subscribe to our channel, and have fun sewing.